What is going on, Star Wars fans? My name is John Solo, and I'm feeling pretty good because in the past two days, we've gotten not just one, but two trailers for the Han Solo anthology film. It's no secret that Han Solo is my favorite character, so I was very excited for these trailers to drop, and I watched them both numerous times. Normally, what I would do on days like today is spend hours over analyzing every frame of the trailers and then try to assemble a second-rate storyline based off the bits and pieces of information I have. But basically, every person who did that for the last movie, including myself, was wrong. So instead, what I want to do today is talk about some highlights from the two trailers, share some thoughts about what I see, and talk about what I hope Star Wars fans get from this movie. And definitely a little bit of theorizing, because I can't help myself. Now, personally, I wasn't disappointed in either of these trailers. Between the two, we're given a somewhat concrete idea about what to expect from this movie. We know that Han was raised on the streets. We know he enlists in the Imperial Flight Academy and then gets kicked out for having having a mind of his own. This is pretty similar to his Legends backstory, only in that version he gets kicked out for helping Chewbacca escape slavery and assaulting his commanding officer. I guess you could call that having a mind of your own if you want. It looks like him and Chewie meet under different circumstances this time around, so I'm curious if they eliminate the whole life debt part of their friendship that used to exist, or if they find a new way to incorporate it. I'm also curious about Amelia Clark's character Kira, or Kira, or Kira. I don't know which. It looks like she's tagging along and helping Han with his schemes even at the very start, so I'm assuming she helps him sort of climb these smuggler ranks. We also see Woody Harrelson's character, Tobias Beckett, tell Han he's putting together a crew for a job. Some are theorizing he's talking about the Kessel Run job, but I've also heard he might be talking about the train heist, and that's actually the one that I'm leaning towards. The way that I see it happening is the train heist is their first job together as a crew, consisting of Tobias, Han, Kira, Chewie, this monkey with four arms and this lady. And then when they know they can work together, they do the Kessel Run job, which I think is either given to them by or has something to do with Paul Bettany's character. We saw in a behind the scenes photo that he was in costume on the set of that weird party scene. So I'm thinking this is either a cocktail type party he's throwing at his crib or they're in a club somewhere. What I'm thinking is they get the Kessel Run job from him, but they need a ship that can make the run fast enough, say 12 parsecs. Maybe it'll be higher, like 14 or 18 parsecs and then they manage to exceed expectations when the time comes. This is where Lando comes in with his brand new Millennium Falcon. What I'm really hoping we see is the infamous Sabacc game where Han wins the Falcon from Lando with his lucky dice. I feel like if we were ever to see how that exchange went down, this movie would be the perfect place to do it. So I hope it happens, but I also hope they don't mess it up. I guess that's how I feel about every bit of Star Wars news I hear though. Another interesting point I wanted to bring up was this scene here where we see Han about to face down with this gang or what almost looks like a tribe. I couldn't tell you what kind of faction they are, but it's pretty apparent they're bad guys and it looks like they're gonna be a problem at multiple points in the story because we also see their leader battling it out with Tobias during the train heist, which looks like it takes place on an entirely different planet. One of the most attention-grabbing parts of either trailer was the crew in the Millennium Falcon being chased down by a version of a TIE fighter we've never seen before in what looks like a combo between a space storm, an asteroid field, and something with tentacles. A lot of Star Wars fans believe that this is an updated, revamped version of the famous Kessel Run. In previous installments, the Kessel Run was an 18 parsec route that involved navigating through an asteroid field within a nebula arm while also avoiding black holes. This sounds pretty similar to what we see in the trailer, only they added a giant tentacle monster to up the ante and keep you on your toes. There's no confirmation as of yet that this is actually the Kessel Run, but there is a lot of evidence to argue for it. And those are the biggest takeaways I got from these trailers. There's also a few smaller details I thought were cool too. I like the new stormtrooper we saw in Corellia, or what looks like a stormtrooper at least. It could just be a security guard or a police guy. The front of the Millennium Falcon also looks different than we're used to, so I'm curious what the explanation will be for that and what the reasoning is for why they remove it. To be honest, I really like it though, maybe even a little bit more than the classic Falcon design. I'm also very curious what Kira means when she says, I'm the only person that knows what you really are. It could just be them leading up to a joke, like maybe she says, scoundrel or scruffy looking nerf herder. But maybe she already sees that softer side that comes out more as he gets older. Who knows? Certainly not me, but we'll get to find out on May 25th. I've got to say, I am a lot less nervous for this movie now than I was just a couple days ago. I was very apprehensive about someone other than Harrison Ford playing Han Solo, but nothing in these trailers has me worried about his performance. And with that anxiety being gone, it's easier to focus on the important elements. Like the fact that this is the first anthology film where the 
events aren't going to have a direct impact on the original saga the way Rogue One did. I'm hoping that because of that, we get to see a movie that's a little more fun. Not fun like it needs more humor, but something different and lighter than The Last Jedi, which dealt with some heavy stuff. I want to see young Han Solo on a crazy sci-fi action adventure with some cool characters and badass moments. We don't have to follow him on a quest for his parents' identity or have any of these dark secrets about his past revealed. Honestly, I don't even want to see that much character development out of him. I'm down to watch him pull off heists for three hours and say some cool one-liners. Sorry about the mess. How do you feel about this movie though? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Maybe a bit of both? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for weekly Star Wars content, and follow me on social media. I've got more Star Wars videos coming your way very soon. Until then, may the force be with you, and remember, John shot first. Thank you.